Hello, good week, Vladimir here with you, how are you? Uh, welcome to the, my uh, weekly review of uh, 15th of November, the third week of November. Well, the last week was a volatile one, a good one, a good trade, a long trade. And uh, I want to congratulate uh, these of you who joined me uh, the previous week uh, trade uh, with recommendations to hold the dollar and sell, sell all you have against the dollar. Uh, I recommended the euro as the most volatile, I recommended the British pound, Australian, the New Zealandian, all of them. And all of them made the move. The euro, of course, was the leader. Well, uh, for this week and the upcoming weeks, and uh, maybe even uh, months, to be honest, I uh, have uh, some uh, good ideas and some uh, things that I want to share with you. Well, uh, let's start with the euro. First of all, this is the monthly chart. May we have, may we get a triangle? If we do, that means that the euro should reach this down, which is 117, 116. Would believe, right? But it is still early, still early. It's only a possibility. Let's uh, see. It's a monthly chart. If so, it will take more than one year. But let's and uh, see how it will behave. I go down to the weekly chart. What one do we have on the weekly chart after this dodges an inverted hammer on the previous week we got this drop down on the on the last week and the MACD stop is going down. We are still doing correction and to be honest this is my uh, target 133, 134 somewhere in these levels. Right? This is on this support. If I go to daily chart this is what I have take a look all right so the euro should reach this cross level somewhere in the end of November maybe the beginning of December but the euro should reach these levels and from this point I do believe that we will see a next up move all right the investors are still aiming the 145 I am little little down for this level as for now but as I said, the time will say. Why? Because we are going to have too many fundamental involvements, too many fundamental decisions that may um, affect uh, straight on the market and uh, may bring uh, new directions or new volatility or new speculations and uh, everything can change uh, on daily basis. So it is little, little, little risky to take to talk about a uh, so long period. As for now, I am still bearish until 133, 134. This is my target. Later, if this level will be broken down, we will see. Maybe 125 will be the next uh, level, and maybe 116, 117. All right. So, as for now, we are still bearish until 133, 134. Uh, to be honest, on the daily chart, uh, this is the target, but on the uh, shorter time frames, I do think that we will have some volatility. I do think we will have up and down and then big correction up and then drop down again. It might uh, go down and up again and again, but don't, don't forget the main uh, correction direction as for now. All right. This is about the euro. The British pound... Um, Almost the same. We have this double dodgy patterns. If we break up, we will continue up. If we break down, which is my guess, <laughs> I, but it's, all, it's only guesses for now. So let's see. I, I believe we will see it down. And if it breaks down, we will have definitely, definitely big move. We have this uh, uptrend line somewhere here, and the British pound may reach it. All right. But if it breaks down more, then we will have another big uh, move down. All right, so this is about the British pound, dollar yen, the same situation. I still think bullish, but first of all, we have to break this downtrend line. When we will, we will have to a retracement and then up. All right, I am still thinking the dollar yen will be tar traded up. Um, the Australian dollar, the same situation. I think this is a weekly chart. I think the Australian may reach these levels, which is 096, maybe a little higher. All right, I do think we will get some down move during the next few weeks, and it, it will meet the 20 moving 
uh, average of the Bollinger somewhere here. Maybe even the Australian will drop until the next level, which is 093, 094. Right? So I am still bearish for all these pairs for long term. Australian Canadian as well. This is the daily chart. We were. We saw this breakdown of this uptrend line. I was talking about it a lot on my blog. Well, two opportunities. The first one, if we retrace to test it, then we'll sell. All right. And if not, then we will wait until the Bollinger Bands will reopen down. All right. Down move, correction. And from this point, we will see down again. So, another pair to look for. A few another opportunities, the Euro Pound, you know what I was uh, looking for. It looks like we are still going to see some correction up. 0.9640. 0.9640 is a level, this one. We were blocked on this support level. And probably, probably, we will have a move until this point somewhere. Right? Before the next down move. The Australian New Zealandian, uh, one of our trades and uh, the signal services. Let me find this one here. Is this pair? Beautiful pair. We are going down. The MACD is going down. Everything is going down. But we should be aware of the 127 level. This one. Right? If we close the daily chart below it, it will be good. If not, we might see a retracement up. Well, we have to watch this. Pair. Uh, I am still bearish for now, but and I will be more if we break 127. If we don't break, then it might retrace to be bullish. Well, let's follow this one. And uh, enough saying about the forex market. Let's go to surprise for today. Sugar. Oh yes, watch this daily. Can you see this daily chart? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Watch this. 1,000 pips, 800 pips also, all, uh, almost, sorry, uh, on the daily charts, on two days. Unbelievable drop down. On the weekly chart, we had this engulfing, I mean, see this slope down. After such big engulfing, probably we will see a correction and then next drop down. So I am bearish, but after a correction. Uh, after this big engulfing. Well, that's all for this week. Um, thank you uh, very much for your time and thank you very much for your comments, my friends and my uh, girlfriend. <laughs> um, I really appreciate your time and uh, your comments. Well, I'm more than glad to know that my uh, weekly reviews and my daily updates uh, can uh, help you trading and can help you making some money with this amazing amazing market uh, as i said always it's a privilege to to be here to, to be a trader on this market not everyone could be but for this of you can uh, and uh, i'm glad to help um for you traders and um, to fulfill our dreams our common uh, and our shared dream well, uh, thank you for your time again. I wish you a great profitable week. And uh, I will update about the other pairs on my blog on daily basis. Thank you very much. Good week.